Big week, Sharon, for shares of Eli Lilly. The stock gained more than 7 percent despite today's pullback. Big move in a short period of time for a big pharmaceutical company. There you see it. And uh, many say it has to do with Lilly's experimental Alzheimer's drug. Meg Terrell has more. Alzheimer's disease has been a particularly challenging area for the pharmaceutical industry, with many drugs failing in the late stages of clinical trials. There are no medicines on the market that target the underlying cause of the disease, which affects more than 5 million Americans. So excitement has been mounting around experimental drugs that have shown some promise in studies. Eli Lilly's solanezumab is one of them, and it's already experienced some failure itself. It had what I would say is kind of a checkered past. It had two phase three studies, both of which uh, failed to hit their primary endpoints. Despite the setback in 2012, Lilly said it identified a group of patients for whom the drug appeared to be working. They'd be considered a little bit more mild to moderate uh, Alzheimer's patients. These patients appear to be responding a little bit better than patients who have had the disease for a long period of time. The Indianapolis-based drug maker is now focusing on that patient group in clinical trials. Its key study is expected to report results late next year, but it could provide some updates on how it's doing ahead of an Alzheimer's conference in July. The excitement around Lilly's drug follows a run-up earlier this year for competitor Biogen, which showed some promising data on a similar medicine. They both target the amyloid plaques in the brain associated with Alzheimer's disease, unlike currently approved medicines that target only the symptoms, with limited effect. That enthusiasm for new Alzheimer's drugs helped drive newly public biotech company Axavance shares to almost double yesterday in their first day of trading. The company now has a market value of almost $3 billion. Morningstar analyst Damian Conover estimates Lilly's drug, if successful, could draw more than $2 billion in annual revenue, likely priced at more than $10,000 a year. But it'll have to get through the last stages of testing first and may not hit the market until late 2017. He warns the movement in Lilly's stock price may reflect too much optimism that risky pipeline products like solanezumab and another medicine for cholesterol called evacetropib will work. Both solanezumab and evacetropib are a little bit more on the risky side, you know, swing for the fences products. And a lot of times when you swing for the fences, you strike out. With Alzheimer's cases expected to triple by 2050 without new treatments, patients, families and investors are all hoping for a hit. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Meg Terrell.